Hey guys, welcome back to Dark Angel Beauty. Thank you so much for being here today. Um, today we're gonna do something that I've talked about for a very long time. I have been accumulating products for a very long time for this video. It is the NYX Full Face Tutorial. I'm really excited to do this. I actually really, really like NYX as a brand. I think that they are a high quality for a low price point and I am always looking for a good deal and a good bargain. Um, so I have had a lot of their products. There's like a lot of things that I use regularly, their eyebrow pencils, their foundations, things like that. But I wanted to kind of amass enough to do a full face and I finally done that. And I think I have a good wide variety to work with here. So without further ado, we're gonna jump right into it. So I've used this on camera before. It's the NYX Pro, no, the NYX Professional Makeup Bear With Me Hydrating Jelly Primer. I was going to use the pore filling primer and then I forgot I was gonna do that and I grabbed this one instead. So we're using this one. But yeah, I've used this on camera before. Uh, it's a little bit stickier than what I was kind of hoping for when I bought it. But I do like the way it feels. It's really cooling and my skin's kind of irritated right now. I don't know why it just is. So uh, this probably will feel very nice as I throw things around. I wanna get it all over the place, make sure that my skin is nice and like even toned. So brow product wise, I have accumulated a couple different things because you guys know I use a couple different products. I did include the 3 one brow pencil in the color Auburn. It's a very orange, so I'm gonna have to use it very carefully. Um, and then I've got a pomade that I've had literally forever. It is in the shade Espresso, which is like a dark brown. And then I have the taupe colored eyebrow pencil. So I think all of those combined should make a pretty decent color for me. And I'm just gonna go in with the eyebrow pencil and create like a kind of decent shape to start off with. And then I'm gonna go in with the pomade after that. I really genuinely like these eyebrow pencils. I like most of the products that I use from them. The three-in-one brow pencil I hated because of the color. And hate is a strong word, but I'm going to use it for this because I really truly hated that color. Um, it didn't look as bad as I thought it did, like on camera. When I know when I said, "Oh my God, it's orange," you couldn't really tell on camera, but it's legitimately orange. It looks like a freaking crayon. It's like the color of the pumpkins I have sitting on my desk currently. So pretty decent shape created just so far with just the eyebrow pencil. This is one of my favorite um, products from them just because I feel like it's a really solid, affordable dupe for the Anastasia Beverly Hills eyebrow pencils. So if you're looking for a way to create a nice brow but not spend $100 doing it, not that the AVH ones are $100, but it's about half price, so. Uh, I'm going to show you something that is probably horrifying. Um, there's probably going to be like some screams when you guys see it and gasps of horror. But this is the brow pomade. This was actually the very first brow pomade I ever purchased, ever. Um, so it's like a good like five years old. But what I do to keep it from um, being completely uh, dust and dying is I actually take argan oil um, that I have for like skin purposes and things like that. And I put a couple drops in every now and then to keep it moisturized. And that has kept it alive. Yeah, am I ashamed that I still use this? A little bit. I don't use it very often, but you know, there's a lot of products still left in it. So I don't care if it looks like it's been murdered 8,000 times. Like I'm gonna use it. I'm gonna get my money's worth. I'm going to go in with the three in one. The nice thing about the 3-in-1 is it has the um, the little spoolie with the gel on it, the orange colored gel. Um, but at first I'm going to take just a little bit of the auburn orange. God, it's so orange. All right, so I put a little bit of orange up in there, up in that-ish. I'm just gonna comb it out, comb it into my brows. Okay, so I think the brow shape is pretty much there. They are a little bit orangey, but the dark under it really seems to make that kind of more manageable. It makes it a little bit more like my hair color. So I'm I'm uh, not too disappointed with how they're looking right now. I am, of course, gonna go in with the NYX HD Photogenic Studio Concealer, and I'm gonna clean them up really quick, and then I'll put the concealer. I'm actually, before I do that, I'm gonna put concealer under my eyes as well. Um, I heard this tip. And I saw it on TikTok from a girl I follow on TikTok who I love, and she does a lot of like beauty stuff and hair stuff. And she said that you should let your concealer sit for five minutes on your skin to give it a good amount of time to kind of warm up to your skin, to develop in pigmentation, um, to really get the full effect and the full coverage that you're looking for. And I had never heard that. I always would kind of blend out really quickly because I didn't want it to get tacky and then not blend well but I started testing it and I've been doing it now for like two or three weeks and I've done it with my Shape Tape, I've done it with my Julep Turmeric Concealer, which is probably like my favorite concealer right now. And honest to God, it's the best tech, it's the best tip and technique I've heard thus far. And so I'm gonna put this on and let it sit on my skin like this 
for a hot second while I do my um, my brow definition as well. So, okay, so I carved out my eyebrows in concealer. I'm going to blend it in now, and then we're going to blend in the, the stuff that I put on before I did this. And the concealer colors, I think, are a really good match for me. It's been a really long time since I've used NYX concealers. It was one of the ones that I first, like, one of the first concealers I purchased was from NYX. The camera kept dying, so we switched over to the iPhone to film. Um, I finished my eyebrows up, carved them out, um, blended it all in. Looks nice. I'm going to blend in the concealer. I've never done this technique with this particular concealer, but just from what I've seen so far from all my other concealers, it should work pretty well. And I don't know if you guys can tell just how smooth and seamless it seems to be blending into my skin. Um, like I said, when I first heard about this technique, I was really worried about it. I was really like, oh, it's going to get like tacky and it's going to start setting and then it's not going to be easy to blend out. And it just really works so much better than I could have even expected. So I am very excited. Concealer's all blended in. I've got a nice kind of like general base to um to go in with the foundation and i'm going to you guys know i mix foundations all the time i'm going to mix two from nyx this is probably my favorite nyx it's the stay matte not flat um it is in the shade ivory i purchased this one pretty much every time it goes on sale because i really do like having a couple of these and then i've also got the total control um, drop foundation in light ivory as well this is a very very light color Probably a little bit lighter than what I need right now for my skin tone because I still have a little bit of a tan from the summer, but whatever, we'll go with it. Um, and I'm also going to put a drop of the Born to Glow Liquid Illuminator inside the foundation to give me a glow like I normally do with my cover XX color FX drops. So I'm going to go in first with the um, Stay Matte Not Flat because that is a thicker foundation and I think it'll help kind of keep everything all good together. And I just did like a nice little swirl of that. And I'm going to go in with this, just a very fine amount, not too much, not too little. And it'll just give you a nice like dewy glow. And then I'm going to go in with the, um, the drops because these really are like, I want you guys to kind of see these are like liquid. And I'm just going to do three or four drops. I'm going to do four, four little drops right in the center. And then uh, we're just going to mix it on my face because that's pretty much what I always do. And see, it kind of gives me like, honestly, a pretty nice, it's maybe a little bit lighter than what I need right now. And I probably put a little bit too much on, but you know what? It'll be fine. I always put on what I would call is probably an excessive amount of foundation on. But I know like when you mix colors and stuff like that, it becomes very hard to remix them exactly. So I would rather put like a little bit extra on my skin and then just have to spend a little bit more time kind of blending it in so it absorbs than not have enough and have to like try and make the same color scheme occur. Um, Cause that's probably never gonna happen twice in your life. All right, I'm gonna let this sit for just a minute then I'll come back and I'll touch it up a little bit more. Um, so I actually did kind of pat it down a little bit more with a dry sponge. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just set it because I think it's about as dry right now without having the setting powder to help work it in um, as possible. But overall, I mean, it's a really decent coverage. You can't really tell that I put any of the shimmer drops in there, um, which is why I like it. It just kind of gives you like a nice like subtle glow. It makes you look a little dewier. And I think a, a lot of people in the beauty community are starting to do that. But I highly recommend it if you haven't tried it. Um, I was really intimidated at first to do so just because I was like, oh my gosh, it's going to like make me look like I've got glitter all over my face. And it really doesn't. Oh, I went ahead and started swirling, but I'm going to use the Stay Matte, but not flat. The powder foundation, which is the same one. It's the same line as the one foundation that I love. And I like this one a lot as well. I'm always looking for a nice powder foundation and I'm running really low on them. So next time NYX goes on sale, I'm probably going to pick up a couple more of these because I actually have been very impressed with the quality. Not that I should be surprised because I do generally love NYX products, like I've said, but I just am always intimidated to try new products, even if it's a brand that I know, because, you know, sometimes you got a brand that you really love and there's a couple products out there that just disappoint you. That's pretty well nice and set now. The other thing that I do not have anything in, I didn't even think to look for it. I don't know if they sell it. I would imagine they probably do just because uh, they do such a good job of getting a bunch of different varieties. Pretty much, I mean, they have a full line of everything you'd possibly want at NYX. Unfortunately, I did not think to look for a, an eyeshadow primer, so I don't know if they carry one. If they do, I definitely don't own it. Um, so I was like, dang, why did I do that to myself? What I might do is use that liquid illuminator as an eyeshadow primer, or I may just forego it. I do have this NYX Glitter Brilliance, like loose glitter powder that I wanted to use. 
and I know I purchased, I bought that forever ago, I know I purchased like a glitter glue adhesive that would stick it to my eyeball, but I can't find that either. I don't know if anything else, like I don't know if I put concealer down and put that on top, if it'll hold it. I don't know if I use the illuminator, if it'll hold it, so I don't know what I'm gonna do with that. Maybe I'll use it, maybe I won't, but I did bring it just to be safe. I'm gonna jump into contour first. This is a cream-based contour stick. It was the most affordable thing that I could find for the collection. This is what it looks like. I'm not a big cream-based contour fan, so hopefully I can work with it. Um, it is something that I'm not normally using, but I figured it wouldn't hurt to test it out. You guys know I always do my cheek contour no matter what. I don't do a ton of other contours, but this is one that I feel like is very important. I think it really changes the appearance of my face. And then I'm just gonna kinda blend it out. Next thing I'm gonna do is my blush. This is the NYX little blush. I don't know what the shade is. Uh, it is actually from last year's uh, advent calendar. They do the 29 day advent calendar at Christmas time and I love it. I absolutely love it. I purchased it, I think it's 29, maybe it's only 24, it may be 24. Every year, uh, they've only done it for two years, but every year I brought it so far, so I bought the past two years. They did lipsticks, it was all lipsticks the first one. And then the second one, they had lipsticks, blushes, uh, highlighters, and um, eyeshadows included in it. This was day number 12. I know that because I marked it on the back. Um, and it's just a really nice neutral blush. And then I'm going to do the highlight, the uh, Love You So Mochi. Mochi? I think it's Mochi. I don't know. But I really like this little highlight palette. It's a good little cute one that I got on sale. It's a collection they did a little while ago. And I'm going to go in with the goldy color. Um, and I'm just going to do a really good highlight. I'm choosing to do the gold instead of the pink because um, I think it's going to be mainly a fall colored look. I have two different eyeshadow palettes, one that I purchased specifically with this in mind and the other one that I purchased just because it was on sale at Ulta and I was like, <laughs> this is cute and I like a sale so let's do this. So contour blush and uh, highlight are done, I'm going to kind of blend it out and I'm actually going to do my lips first. I have this soft matte lip cream in a very neutral shade. I think I actually got this in a sample. I may be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's where I got this. And I did not use it before this. I have never used it before. And I'm not gonna lie, this one's applying a little bit weird. I feel like it's pulling, maybe because it's matte. I was gonna say, maybe it's just that my lips are super dry, but I literally put on lipstick, I mean chapstick before we filmed this, like maybe 15 minutes before we started filming. So I feel like they shouldn't be that dry. I don't know how much I'm gonna use from the Off Tropic palette, but it has, a lot of really pretty vibrant colors in it. So I figured I'd have that option available for me in case I wanted to throw in like a nice pop of orange or something along those lines. But I'm mainly going to be focusing on the ultimate shadow. There are a ton of really pretty shades in this one. A lot of very fall shades. Um, it is the palette called Phoenix. And they have quite a few of these little guys, but this is the one that I really felt like would be the best colors for moi. I'm gonna start with this orange that's, or this orange, this yellow that's up here in the corner. It is a matte yellow. Uh, did I say orange again? I meant yellow. It is a matte yellow. And I'm just gonna kind of do a nice like little crease color up in ha. Okay, with the same brush that I just used to do the yellow, I'm going to go in with the nice kind of peachy color. And I'm going to just get a little bit. And I'm gonna go just little circles in my outer corner. There's this kind of like taupey color down there, still yellowy, kind of orangey, but um, it's a more neutral. I'm gonna go in over, oh, it's actually very dark. Just kidding. That's fine. It actually looks really pretty. It, it was a nice, good shade to blend in the yellow and the orange, so I just went right over that. As much as I wanna use this loose glitter because I don't have the glitter glue, I'm gonna go ahead and say we're not gonna deal with him today. Because we're not gonna deal with him, I'm gonna go ahead and do my lower lash line and I'm gonna use the really vibrant orange one in the Off Tropic palette. And then I'm going to do a little bit of concealer, make like a, just a touch of a cut crease and I'm gonna do this goldy color that is shimmery. And we are going to uh, go on from there. I'm very excited for this Off Tropics palette. I haven't really played with it that much, but I love vibrant colors. And today I just really was like, I don't wanna do like a crazy eye color look because I knew I had this really pretty kind of fall feeling one. And also I got like these crazy striped colors on my sweater and already my eyes don't match that. So I was like, well, let's not push it too hard. So, um, and then with that same kind of goldy color that we used to, um, to blend in the yellow and the orange up top, I'm gonna do just a little bit under my eye as well. Let's go ahead and do this cut crease real quick. I say cut crease, it's not a super harsh cut crease, so it's not gonna be like crazy, but just a little thumb thumb. Make it easier to apply some glitter. 
just for fun, I'm going to take that same color that we put on our lower lash line. I'm just going to put a little bit up top. Not a ton, just a little bit. Now we're going to come in with this nice yellowy shimmer color. In this palette, like, there's a there's a little bit of kick up, a little bit of fallout. Um, not complaining considering it's, like, you know, normally a $12 palette, I think. So it's not like it's a, or maybe it's $16, I don't remember, but it's not a super pricey, pricey palette. The colors have been really workable. They've been very easy to blend out. So I'm not complaining about it at all. I'm very, very happy that I chose to get this particular one just because I think it's colors that I will use. And like, especially when I'm traveling, I always like to have like a couple of my pricier palettes that I really like. And then a couple of um, more affordable palettes just in case something were to happen to them, it would be a little bit easier to replace or I wouldn't even bother replacing and that kind of stuff. So and I'm just gonna go in and touch up with this bright color and then blend it one more time just to make sure it looks as pretty as I possibly can make it. And then we're gonna add some mascara and we are going to see how the final product turned out. Oh, I didn't even say. This is the Worth the Hype from NYX mascara. Um, I think I got this as, I know, I lie. I know I got this as a free sample. I've never purchased mascara from them, but you guys know I don't purchase mascara anyway. I've never used this mascara before, but it is really nice. It's very lifting, very separating. It's not clumping super hard, which I'm very, I'm always concerned when I first use a mascara, like that it's going to just completely be terrible. And I'm gonna be like, oh my God. Overall, really happy with how this look turned out. It is very um, kind of simple. Not super, super out there, but still like got some decent color. My contour, I'm actually a huge fan of, which I'm shocked with because you know, you guys know how I feel about those cream contours. Honestly, the thing I'm most disappointed with the lip color definitely looks like I just don't have anything at all on my lips except for foundation, but you know what? Live and learn. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. This is my completed full face of NYX Cosmetics products. I love NYX. I'm a huge supporter of NYX. I would highly recommend NYX products to anybody who is especially looking to get into beauty, has not quite entered into the luxury brands or the higher end brands, but wants to find quality products that they can afford. Um, I think you can do a lot with NYX products. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And um, I know I mentioned it earlier, but if you have not subscribed, please do so. Thank you guys so much for watching today. I really appreciate it. Uh, as always, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and stay girly with a dark twist.